Hey, welcome to my lesson on cumulative frequency. Now, cumulative frequency is a way of representing data which is adding on top of each other. So instead of instead of having this, uh, take take my example I have here. Instead of just having a different sale, so the sales might go like this all over the place. Cumulative frequency will add the sales on top. So the sales technically in real life can never go down because you can't really have a minus sale. So what cumulative, fre cumulative frequency does is it adds up the previous sale total on its own. So for example, Monday's total Monday's cumulative frequency will be free because it's not got a previous number. However, Tuesdays will be Mondays plus itself, so it'll be 4. And Wednesdays will be Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays all added together. And Thursdays will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays total sales added on top of each other. So you can see where I'm going for the whole thing. So saying that, let's write some numbers down. Uh, I'll just complete this graph. Right, actually, I'm, I'm just going to write it. I know it has no heading, but I'm just going to write it on the side. So remember, this this column here is going to be the cumulative frequency. So what's three add zero? Well, it's three. Now, what is three add one? Well, it's four. What's three add one add two? Well, it's six. So as you can see, we're just adding the previous cumulative frequency. 6 add 2, that's 8. Um, 8 add 4, 12. 12 add 5, 17. 0, oh, sorry. No, that's going to be 17. It's an easy mistake to make. It's 17. 17 add 0 is 0. So, this is the number of sales a shop made per week. Obviously, it's probably not the most successful shop in the world. But in case he's well, they could be very expensive items and you just sells very few but makes lots of money. But anyway, it doesn't matter. This is just an example. So, you can see how we're adding the previous numbers up. So, how this will look in a graph, I've got my graph over here. As you can expect, it's going to be a constant upwards motion. And, after drawing this graph, so I see Monday 3, Tuesday 4. After drawing this graph, I'll explain the advantages of using the cumulative frequency uh, graph of displaying data. Because you may think, you may think uh, what's the point in this? If you have a really bad day, it won't look very good because it will be the same height as your most successful day. But I'll explain why it's used across the world very regularly. Okay. So if I just add them up, drawn This is very rough and just doing it quickly to show you to demonstrate it. So you can see how the sales uh, gradually add on top of each other to reach the total sales this week of 17 sales. Um, but what we can do in this is we can we can see on Tuesday and we can see our total sales and we can also but do it the other way we can we can use this to see we can see if our sales are on track so we could have a target we say we're going to have 20 total sales by by um, Friday, so we go to tw actually actually a different example. We're going to say we do we need to make 14 total sales by Friday. So we go to 14 and draw a line across, and then we'll draw that straight downwards, and we can see that we have hit our sales target by. No, actually we can say we have actually missed our sales target we have not reached 14 sales by Friday 
as you can see if we go to Friday that that number there is below 14 so it's a useful way of representing data and it's especially useful for businesses and well it's not just businesses I suppose it could be anyone who is representing data which needs to be added up together so this could be sales, this could be counting the number of cars which pass a certain road it could be anything um, I know you do use common to frequency in your statistics exams so this is part of the reason I am teaching it well thank you for watching this video if you have any feedback you'd like to give me please write a comment or send me a private message if you need any help send me a private message and if this video helps you please subscribe to the video and also like the video thanks for watching